Next up at UFC Vegas 56, we have grappling Tony Gravely taking on Johnny Munoz Jr. Tony Gravely, 22 and 7 overall, 3 and 2 in his last five, and he's coming off a decision win over Simon Oliveira. Johnny Munoz Jr. is 11 and 1. He's 4 and 1 in his last five, and he's coming back after almost a year away from the cage. And Tony Gravely is a wrestler who just loves to come forward with volume and power, and then he just trans into his re transitions into his wrestling so that he can work some old school ground and pound. He's very strong. He uses his strength really well for his takedowns and for damage when he gets on top. Tony's big issue is that he gasses out, and he has questionable submission defense he averages almost seven takedowns per fight which is just an obscene number like that's a ridiculously high number and there's just no secrets as to what this guy's gonna do johnny munoz is a bjj black belt he's got decent striking he's got solid takedowns of his own he throws everything with a hundred percent effort at all times but like most bjj guys bjj grapplers his striking is really just there to set up his, his takedowns and his grappling. He uses both front kicks and side kicks well to manage range and to keep his opponents at distance. But he can be a bit slow or lazy with those kicks, which could lead to takedowns. Sometimes he just kind of tosses them out there, leaves them there for a minute, and that could definitely be a problem against somebody like Tony. With that being said, his grappling is very slick, both on top and off his back. And I love Tony Gravely in this matchup. His wrestling should absolutely be able to get this to the ground. His top pressure is incredible once he gets there. My problem here, or the hesitation here, is that five of Tony's seven losses are by submission, and seven of Munoz's 11 wins are by submission. And I don't normally just pull up topology and go, ooh, he loses by submission, he wins by submission. Bing. I don't normally do that. But it is concerning here because this will 100% end up on the ground. And Tony Gravely 100% needs to worry about those submissions. And he's fallen to that in the past. But this could look exactly like Tony's last fight where he just blew through Simon Oliveira with an insane 11 takedowns. He blew through him and Simon's just as good of a grappler or not, if not better than Johnny Munoz. He had 11 takedowns in that fight. Or this could look like the Brett Johns fight where he himself was taken down six times and then he was submitted so tony gravely is a kill or be killed type wrestler if johnny wants to come forward shoot his own takedowns he could have success i don't see it i see tony gravely working the takedowns getting it done and i will be biting my nails the entire time to make sure he doesn't get submitted but i think this is a very close fight these odds are probably probably pretty accurate it's i, I think this is a pretty close fight you're biting you're literally biting your nails what what do you what yeah, so I, I'm i going with Johnny. He might end up being lock of the week. Um, we got to tune in for Wednesday, the lock of the week video. I, I really haven't made up my mind yet. And and what scares me is, and I keep I keep referencing these fights over and over, but this could be Tracy Cortez, Melissa Gatto, where, where Melissa Gatto is just looking for submissions the whole time but gets controlled the whole fight. We saw that again last week. Everyone was so high on Pollyanna Viana. Oh, Pollyanna Viana is going to submit Ricci. She's going to submit... And what happened? Ricci just controlled the positions the entire time. It's so hard these days to submit people off your back. And that's why if you're Johnny in this matchup, you can't be the guillotine guy. You can't be the guy that's just trying to pull a guillotine and you end up on your back and then he's going to control. Because if, 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 if Tony ends up in, 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 in full guard or half guard, you're going to struggle in those, in those positions, right? He's, he's very, very good at controlling those positions. Obviously, anything could happen. Weird things could happen. Maybe an arm bar or whatever. But if you're Johnny in this matchup, on, on the on the takedown attempts, try to scramble out of those. Try to try to defend the takedowns and scramble and get positions out of that. Don't be the guillotine guy. Because if you're the guillotine guy, you'll be Melissa Gatto. You'll be Pollyanna Viana. You'll be threatening the entire time, but you're going to lose a decision. I'm a Johnny guy. I like Johnny. I think he's going to pull it off because I don't see him being that guillotine guy. But if he's going to be that guillotine guy and up on his back for three rounds, he could easily, easily lose his decision. So I know a lot of people are very, very high on Johnny. And I warned you guys on Melissa Gatto, even though I picked Melissa. I warned you guys on Pollyanna Viana when I picked Ricci. I'm telling you right now, be careful with Johnny. I'm going to pick him. He might end up being the lock of the week because I think he might pull it off. But this could be one of those situations where he's just on his back looking for submissions the whole time. And although he's, he's the more threatening guy, the judges will not give you that fight when you're on your back. So I'm going to be with Johnny. I'm going to pick Johnny, but I, I agree with you, Angelo. This could be one of those Tony Gravely. Just take him down, control him, 
you know, and, and win by uh, win by a, a boring decision. So be careful with Johnny, guys. I understand why you're going to pick him. I'm going to pick him. He might be lock of the week. Tune in Wednesday, but be careful. Honestly, the bet here, and you guys know I love this bet. I actually just hit it with Chase Hooper. The bet to place here is wins inside the distance, decision, no action on Johnny Munoz. Because Tony Gravely will win a decision if he wins this fight. It'll be a controlling, defending submission, stay on top decision. That's how Tony Gravely will win this fight. But if Johnny wins this fight, it will be a win. It'll be a stoppage. It'll be a submission. So what that bet means, win inside the distance, decision, no action, is if Johnny Munoz wins inside the distance, you get paid. If there's a decision, you get a refund. The bet never happened. There is no action. You didn't bet. I'm probably going to do that. We'll have to see what the odds are. They're probably not going to be spectacular. But if that's minus 150, something to that effect, I think that's absolutely worth it. So I'll see what those odds are. If you want to check it out, wewantpicks.com slash bets. We have five partners. The one and only partner that offers that safety net inside the distance decision no action bet is Bet Online. So go through there, click on that link, sign it up, and we'll send you $50 as a thank you, and as far as DraftKings are concerned, Johnny's not that cheap. $7,800, yes, he's an underdog. But if you like Johnny Munoz to win, the odds are almost even. Plus 115 is almost even money. But $7,800 is, a, you know, it's less than even. He's not true underdog. He's like real middle of the road as far as DraftKings are concerned. You going to put him in your lineup? If you're if it's a single entry lineup, I don't know if I like it. Uh, multi entry, I think he's definitely got to be in a, a multi entry just for the you know the hail mary submission. But you know, as far as like just in a loss, if, he's not going to score well in a loss, right? I think we both agree that if he loses this fight, he's not going to score well. Maybe with a couple sweeps or something like that. You know, five points, five points. Yeah, um, you, you'd it's, be it's a tough, him it's up tough to for a single stoppage. Yeah, it's a, it's tough for a single entry lineup. He he probably is going to be in mine though. Yeah, well, and the monkey knife fight strike line. More, more, I think, because I do think Tony Gravely is going to get on top a whole bunch. And he's an old school ground and pound guy. He just starts going at it on top. Old school ground and pound guy. So I think it's going to be more of that. Um, so I, I don't think that's con, you know an issue at all for him to get past the 63. But Johnny Munoz, 55, that one's tricky. But I do think he'll get to it, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, off his back. I mean, he's he's very aggressive. Even if he's not working for submissions, I mean, he's going to be throwing elbows and stuff. He's very active in his guard and everything. So those add yeah, up and, quick. And these are not significant strikes. It's literally any strike, pitter-patter, anything counts towards the strike line. So if you want to check that out, you can literally triple your money if you get these correct. We want picks.com slash MKF. If you sign up, they'll instantly match your deposit, and you literally just play more or less on these strike lines. So, and we just got a comment from Z Tark saying, Johnny Munoz win inside the distance decision, no action is plus 110. His betting line, money line is plus 115. So, yeah, for basically the a, exact a, same line, you alone. get a cushion there. He doesn't have to win the fight. So, yeah, win inside the distance decision, no action. $20,000 loan, which is two units. Told you you'd be looking for a bridge loan. <laughs> 